Martin from First Up is now FTC, and I'm here with Team Moco Machines. And so they have a really cool robot with a custom drivetrain with belt, a really cool claw, and a really cool lip. And so I want to first ask you guys, what's really cool about your drivetrain? So our drivetrain is a, uh, it has tank treads and it has an idler so that it fits tightly. On there, we, we chose to use a, train, a tank tread so that it, we don't encounter any obstacles on the playing field. The idler tightens the tread onto the three wheels um, so that it, it's not loose. The, the three wheels that connect to the idler, one of them is lower so that we can easily turn. Because we wanted to make easy repairs on this, we decided to make three different sections on each side of the plate. So the outside plate and the inside plate are three sections each. And so because we did this, we also have connectors in between it so that we can, um, again, quickly repair if anything breaks in there. Hopefully it won't. But also our wheels are 3D printed, so it's a lot lighter versus um, screwing together two, two wheels. Um, so uh, for our gripper, we decided to use a four bar linkage because our elevator um, is a little slow, so we decided to be faster if we could open the claw. And when it's open, it, it gives the, um, the bricks enough space so we can clear it. And then once the, grip, the gripper goes over the bricks, it closes and it comes down. So that's without using our elevator at all. Uh, and we decided that'd be faster. So we did use the four bar linkage for the gripper. Um, as you can see here, this is our decoupled elevator. We wanted our robot to be able to stack at least two blocks high. And since our hand grabs directly one block, we didn't want to put it at an angle. So we wanted to move the whole arm up and down, which is what our elevator does. There's a DC motor at the bottom with a timing belt around it, which drives two lead screws, which moves the whole robot up. And that way we can stack. Well, thank you so much, Team 14062, for interviewing with us first up face now. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.